Hello everyone, I am back again. I wanted to share what I carry in my travel bag. Actually, I recorded the um, video after my previous one, like right after I edited it, and I didn't have enough memory on my phone, and so I ended up deleting part of my video. And so, yeah, it was, I have to re-record. My daughter's downstairs with uh, someone came to visit, so I came up to my bedroom and um, I thought, let me just record this again right quick. This is what I, I, I showed this in my, I think I shared this in my previous video. I can't remember right now, but, and the lighting should be better because it's daytime now. So if it's not, and I don't have my tripod, so I apologize if there's any shaking, I'm just holding it with one hand. I do have my little thing that I talked about in my last video um, that you hold, the, you know, the phone. So it should be a, a, a stable and, you know, as stable as I can. Okay, so this bag uh, was again, uh, who, who mentioned this bag? Paper Love Plans. I will link her video below. <clears throat> her YouTube channel, excuse me, and I will also uh, find it on Amazon because it's where I bought it, and I will link it below. I will try to do it through my Amazon store. You know, I have it. I've had it for at least a year, <laughs> and I never, I never included it in my YouTube videos. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I don't know how. Um, so I need to figure that out. Okay. So here in the back. Oh, this is you can use it as a fanny pack. I use it as kind of like a cross, I guess crossbody, you know, across the chest. Um, and that's kind of how I use it, whatever's in style now. And it's really light. So here I um, keep my cell phone. Now I have a recording with it, so I can't show you. But here it's strapped. See how easy that is with one hand? And it goes all the way down, kind of like the fossil Sydney satchels. And it opens up. So I love this. So this uh, first thing here, I have a my wallet, my Traveler's Company passport, I think. Yeah, Traveler's Notebook. It's in the blue. And I think I mentioned it, no, on my Instagram. But I uh, see how it's not shiny anymore. I tried cleaning and conditioning it twice. And it stripped the um, the blue Tra Traveler's Company notebook or the cover comes like the, with this blue sheen on it. And I don't know how to explain it. But, and I was quite ready to throw this in the trash. I was so upset. I'm, I mean, I fell out of love with it. But I am, I don't know. I use it as a notebook. I mean, as a wallet. So I just throw it in my bag for now. Um, it just didn't patina like my brown and my olive or my camel. So I use this as a wallet. Let me show you before I keep on with my stories and take too long. I did take everything out this time because my first video I didn't. So um, this insert here. So the Traveler's Company or the TN, you just slide the insert. So this is one insert. Let me see. Hold on. This is one insert and you just slide it under the one string that I have here. So this has... I ordered this from AliExpress and it's kind of like a waxy and it tells you the description. It's like a waxy leather. I don't know if you can tell here, if you could tell there, see, and, um, and I like it. So back here I carry cash and it zips really nicely. It's really easy. I'm, I'm doing it with one hand, but it's a really good zipper and they have different colors, but I ordered blue. So I want to get, um, just a couple of different colors, like a brown, because this only matches with this. And um, what other, um, I think the brown, I'm trying to think what other, um, I have the camel, I have the brown, I have the olive, so I would have to see what colors would match. I'd rather get one that matches with everything, so I don't like ordering multiple things of the same, you know. So this is my two cards. I usually carry my, um, my debit card that I use the most my only debit card and my license. And then here I slide in my Sam's Club and my JCPenney card here. I just took everything out and I just added that. This is the, hold on here, the insert from Traveler's Company for passport. And then I, this is open here. What do I usually keep there? Oh, I just had some extra cards here. And then here in this pocket, I just keep, uh, these are all like coupons, Subway, um, this barbecue place in our place. And then this is a picture of my granddaughter when she was born. She was born at 24 and a half weeks. So she's my miracle baby. She's five now. 
but uh, this is a picture my my daughter gave me, so I was carried in there. And this is a folder I created out of something. I forget how I did this. Oh, it was just a cardboard cardstock, and I and I um, glued. I have this um, paper, you know, sticky paper. I forget what you call that vinyl, maybe. And I put it on top. Put some washi on the side. I put the sticker and I put this on there. This is just a Walmart sticker from my granddaughter. I just kept it there. And then I stuck in two, um, like those Target dollar spot pockets and slid it on the side. And here I keep extra paper from the Dollar Tree in case I need to make a, a note or a list. I don't like keeping a notebook in here, like a mini composition notebook. I tried, but in my brain, this is a wallet, so I should not be writing in here. I don't know. That's just me. And then this side, I keep receipts. And yeah, so I need the receipts. And then, yeah. It works really well. Toss that over there. Here is, <laughs> don't laugh. I have a bling, lots of bling in this little wallet, but I love it. I bought it from the Dollar Tree and it's the only one they have with this, see that snap? I forget what they call that. Is that the kiss snap? I don't know. I thought I read something. Um, I keep all my change there. And because when I kept it in my other wallet when I kept it in here I just couldn't get to it and I felt like I don't know the pressure of when you're checking out and people are just waiting hold on my cards keep on slipping over here and I just feel like I can't get my change um so anyway that's a just a coin purse and I tried not to keep it too full because I don't like my purse heavy here on the side pocket I'll take everything out and I'll show you all the pockets I have my tissue of course and I just have little, um, these are snack bags and I put uh, wipes and feminine products in there. Here I bought some Tic Tacs. These are little pockets here. Here's a little chapstick. And here is my um, moño, um, what do you call it in English? Hair tie. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican, so that's what we call it, moño. Um, what else do I have? Oh. I have my, my little floss stick. I need to throw this away because I need to keep it in a little bag. And sometimes I'm such in a hurry, I just throw it in there. And this is hand sanitizer. Uh, my my granddaughter's like, ooh, a watermelon. But it's not really. Uh, I bought this. This is an old bottle I bought at the Dollar Tree. And so I just refill it at home. You know, have a bigger bottle. And that's what I keep always. Those are my, like, necessities. No matter what little bag I'm in. Um, oh, do I have anything else in here? No, I don't think I do. So it has two pockets and then one long pocket in here. And then it's pretty wide. So yeah, um, I enjoy this thing for traveling because it's, you know, close to my chest or under my arm. I don't know how to explain it, you know, kind of like that. And so, you know, it's light, easy to access, especially when you get to TSA at the airport and you're like, okay, take off your shoes, your belt, blah, 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 and, they, <laughs> and you're rushing through the... You're rushing through the um, to get through because usually I have my backpack and my laptop and um, um, rush, rush, rush. Okay, my Deldi. I did not show this in my last video and I talked about it in the beginning of my video, um, but this is like my favorite bag. I have two. I have a pink one at home. Uh, it's like a darker pink and a light pink. And then this one. Um, and I think I mentioned in my previous video that uh, I ordered this because it matches it matched my TNs. So he has two little flaps in here and you just pull the each flap down. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I don't think I can, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I, this is the way I like to see my pens. Um, even at my um, Delphonics, everything has to be upright because when I'm writing or I'm planning, I'm journaling or studying my Bible, I like quickly accessing what I need. You know, when you have a pouch and it's everything's laying down and you have to search through the bag, I that I don't like that. So um, that's why I ordered two of these. If you hear noise in the background, that's just my my grandson's playing downstairs. Um, okay, so let's start. I always go with a ruler, six inch, you know, plastic ruler. You can get these. Uh, I forget where I got this, but you can, I don't know. I got the gas stations. My husband used to drive a truck, so he always knew he had one of those. Um, this pencil is the big velocity, but I love the 0.9. Um, I don't know. I just like the thickness to the pencil. Um, here is the refill, the Uni Jetstream 0.7. This is my favorite pen. Let me pull out a little bit. 
and um, what this is my favorite pen to use a Tomoe River paper now I didn't bring Tomoe River paper but I can write this this I can write on anything so I have black blue green and red and a pencil this is a 0.5 so it's a little and it has a little eraser on top this is called the Juni Uni Jet Stream 4-in-1 and this is like my favorite pen that's a 0.7 but I also like a 0.5 sometimes. I use this, uh, this comes with my Hobonichis. See, 2022. I usually like or using this in my Moleskine paper in my planner, my work planner. Um, with my pencil, hold on here. I like using this eraser. It's the Pentel it? Click Eraser. You get these at Walmart, it's like a pack of three. I think one black, red, and blue, I think. But when I write in pencil and I erase sometimes with like the number two pencil or the pink eraser, you know, those little we used to use in school, it smudges the ink or the pencil lead. So this erase gives a clean, you know, when I erase it, it looks clean and I don't know, non smudging. When I journal or write in my morning pages, I tend to like writing with a 0.7. It's, I don't know, just the writing, it's just a little smoother. Lately, I've been using the 0.5, but I love the inner gel. Um, I, and, and I go between pens. I like the Pilot Precise V5, and I also like the Pentel inner gel. Just because, see the needle point? I don't know if you can see it. Not the regular point, but the needle point. That's my favorite, because I write small. Um, and then, I'll show you these pens in a minute, but the rest of this, I color code. And in my planner and in my journal and in my uh, catch-all so depending on what I'm writing I will highlight the maybe the date with a specific color um, or if I'm writing taking YouTube notes and uh, I also color code there because it kind of tells me what kind of notes that is so let's say I watch a faith video um, I would highlight it in orange you know the name of the of the video or the date or something so anyway, so these pens here, hold on, let's see, I can reach over here. This is the, I'm sitting on my bed here, the Journaling Ink Magna Tank, and this is from the Dollar Tree. This was recommended by Michelle in C of Seaweed Kisses. Uh, I would link her video below. I think she recommended this on her Instagram account, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I could not find it at home, and usually when I travel, uh, to Chicago from my to my daughter's house I like to hit like Hobby Lobby uh, even though I haven't hit many of the stores but at least the minimum the Dollar Tree because sometimes I can find things um, that I can't find at home so the last time I was here I found those I don't know if you remember those oval um, paper clips they had a heart in the middle and they were oval and they were pretty they were rose gold I found it here and I should have bought two packs I only bought one but anyway she recommended this and so I had to try it out. I opened up two because the first one I opened, it did not, um, I don't know, it didn't write well. So I tried the second one and it has a good weight to it. And it's cap, it's 0.7, it's rose gold, see that? Rose gold on top and it's a cap. And the cap is like a, a frosted black. And then it has a nice rubber grip. And see how that's rose gold? That's what the point looks like. You can see it. And it it writes nice. Um, I don't know. It writes okay. For me, I compared the ink to the Pentel Energel, my 0.5, and my Pentel wrote darker. I like dark ink. So I bought four because, and the store only had four, so I bought the last four because I was thinking if I fall in love with it, I didn't want to regret saying, oh, I should have bought you know, the last four. <laughs> you know how it is, you know how it is. So it's it's okay. I'll use one and then I'll give some away. Um, what else did I buy? Okay, so that is my pen case, my pen Del D, so I showed that. Then I went to the, uh, was it Five Below? Yeah, Five Below. And I was watching, I think her name is Alyssa Lynn here on YouTube. I'll link her video below. But she does a lot of what's in my bag. And she always changes up her, like she has different coin purses. She had different wallets because they match with the purse that she's using. 
and I'm not even sure how often she changes purses and I don't do that because I just have one purse but I bought this I found it God is good she had it in her video and I thought oh well, let me go here at the five below and actually the guy um, I found some that weren't like this and I asked the guy that worked there he goes no this is all we have left <laughs> so I was bummed because I was like oh I really wanted this and I was checking out and there was this like this thing with like charms and different um, cute little areas. So you turn it, you know, and when I was turning it, I saw this. So it was kind of hiding. Um, so Scott is good. And it's not the best quality. It's actually like a cheapy, you know, thing. Um, but I don't know. It was cute. She uses, I think she had her like prayer beads in there. It's a coin purse. I can unzip it right now. And you put like, you know, your license or whatever in there. Not sure what I would use this with, but since I did order some uh, fossil purses on eBay and um, I don't know, I get obsessed with things sometimes. And so I ordered some, you know, I found some really good prices. Hold on. Let me show you what else I found at the um, Five Below even though it has nothing to do with me. <laughs> I bought this for my daughter. She wanted it. You put cards in there and you put it in the back of your phone. And also you can hold it, kind of, you know, pop this out and you can put it between your fingers. That's what I have on my phone. And I got that. And I just got that. My daughter, and I don't know if I mentioned this in my previous video. If I did, I apologize. Hold on, I gotta reach over. But I bought, um, we went to the Shedd Aquarium and my daughter has one of those pop things in the back of her phone and you put it between your fingers and you can take, you know, kind of easy to hold. And I was like, oh, this works great. And I didn't know, of course it takes me 10 years, right? To always order something. Um, and so I bought one at the uh, Five Below and so I put it on my phone. So that's how I'm holding my phone. Who knew, huh? Okay, power bank. This is to charge up her phone. She wanted, uh, she loves pink. I bought gray. And sad to say, it does not uh, work with my iPhone because I have the smaller, I don't know. This says A, port A, USB A and C. Um, I had called my husband, I had called my son-in-law and I even asked a the guy there because I know nothing about, I mean, I have to have specifics before I even go shopping. And this was kind of like spur of the moment purchase but the guy said if I bring the receipt you know have the receipt I can get my money back so this doesn't work sad to say I need one so I'm just gonna have to buy one probably on Amazon sometime later okay I think that's all I have from the five below oh one more thing I bought from the Dollar Tree this thing Paper Loves Plan also recommended this. She showed it. If you follow her on Instagram, she shows a lot of Dollar Street stuff, stuff she finds. And, of course, it takes me forever to find things because, I don't know, I have to watch videos because I just don't go out as much. So, look. Collapsible basket. And she holds her planners in there. And I thought it was cute for $1.25. So, anyway, I didn't find one at home, so I was kind of bummed. And then I happened to look here, and they had it. Oh, I'm so happy. I love when I find stuff on, you know, that someone recommends and I find it. I think I mentioned that before. Okay, made one stop um, because I wanted, my daughter has this little wallet that's really light and, you know, she keeps just a couple of cards and her change and her license. And I thought, oh, that's really cute. So I went to Marshall's. Does they even have the receipt? I thought it had the receipt. Um... I think I cut the receipt off. It's $12.99. It's real leather. It's real soft. It'll, I think it'll match my one uh, Rachel Fossil purse, Sydney. No, Fossil Rachel Satchel. That's what I ordered. I love the color chambray. It's C-H-A-M-B-R-A-Y. I didn't even know what that color was. But I saw a purse, uh, someone on YouTube that had a purse that looked, it's like a blue, it's like a bluish gray. I don't know how to call it. But I went on the fossil site and they had like an old purse and that's what the name it had. So I figured, ooh, this looks like chambray. I don't know if it does or not to you on camera. But anyway, I got it. See if it matches with the my purse. I haven't gotten it yet, not until I get back home. And it has one pocket there. It's really soft leather and then three cards there. So and then you can clip this on something. So 
that is it. That's all I have. Let me put this off so you have something to look at. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's all I have and that's all I wanted to share. If you have any questions, um, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have, but I'll be here uh, with my daughter and my grandsons uh, till Friday. I fly back home Friday. That's going to be sad. Um, but I'll talk to you guys soon. My next video, I'm not sure. I kind of do videos spur of the moment. And um, if I have anything else to share, I'll make another video. If not, I'll for sure will make one when I get back home. So I'll talk to you guys soon.